What's up everybody, Randy coming back at you here, FPV Trends, and today I want to talk to you about the Avada upgrade and what it has done for getting your files off of the Avada. Now you may or may not be experiencing this, I don't know, but it is something that I'm experiencing, and I just wanted to throw this video out there to help anybody else that might be going through the same situation. Now, the software I'm going to use to get the files off of the Avada, I will leave a link in the description below. I'm not affiliated with them, so feel free to search for your own software or use that link. I'm just going to give you the link that I actually use myself. So here's what we're running into. Uh, so if I turn the, uh, I've got the, I took the USB card out of the Avada, but it's the same thing even if I plug it into it, into the Avada, I get this. As you can see here, it's saying uh, you need to format the disk drive I before you can use it. Format disk or cancel. So for whatever reason, it's it's not accessible and I can tell you why I think it's not accessible and it's because of a certain file. So the program, the software I found and use is a, a software called uh, Disk Internals Uneraser and it's going to pop up and show you all the drives. The one I'm concerned about here is the SD card. That's the one that just told me that I needed to format. That's the one that's from the Avada itself. Now I'm not having this issue with the goggles video footage. So if we go into it, as you can see, all the files are here for the Avada. Now here's what I think, let me go to the thumbnails view. Here's what I think is wrong. It's, it started adding this TRINF file. This is some kind of file that is uh, maybe like a database file or something like that. And it started adding that, and I believe that's the reason that it's corrupted or that my computer thinks it's corrupted. Now, I have done both the format on my computer, uh, and I've also done the format through the goggles on the Avada, and both times it still does this, so it's not a format issue, it's not how you formatted it or anything like that, uh, and so I don't know why they've started adding this file to it. it. It never had that before, and if I had footage of this, I would show you that it's never added that file before the upgrade. Uh, and also it started Xing out some of the videos. Now I did talk to DJI support and they said that those video files are corrupted, but they're not corrupted. Those files are actual files. So anyway, using this file, uh, this program here called Uneraser, and again, the links in the description below, what I'm able to do is go in and find the files that I want to get off the computer. And then I'm basically, I just go in and I just go ahead and mark the ones that I want to get off the computer. And I can show you here that uh, like this file here, it says it's corrupted, uh, and it says this file here is corrupted. Now, what you'll do is, is you'll highlight the files. If you want them all, just click on the top one and go scroll all the way to the bottom and hold your shift key down, and that will select them all on a Windows computer. On a Mac, I'm not sure how you do that. If you just want certain files, you can just click on those certain files. But let's go in and actually get a file that it says is corrupted. And for sake of time, we will just do one file and not both of them. So I'll go ahead and now you want to right click on it. Once you've highlighted, you want to right click on it and click on recover. And what that'll do is that'll pop up a, uh, another window and it says save files, mount to system or upload FPV. You want to save files, you click on next. And once that screen pops up, you want to tell it where to save those files at. And now I'm going to tell it that I want to save those files to, uh, I'm just going to save them. Let's see here. Let me browse here and just go to drive G and just go to my FPV trends and we'll just save it right there. Now it says save directory structure. You want to make sure that's checked and none of these other ones are checked. We're going to click on next and then it's going to come up and it's going to say, this is the file you're going to put over. We're going to click on next and then I'll speed this process up so you don't have to set through it. So let's go ahead and speed that up now. Okay, now that it's done, what we'll do is it'll come up and say it completed. So you just want to click on finish. So then you can go ahead and close that down. What you do is you click on the yes there, it'll close it down. Now let's open up a file explorer. Let's go into drive G and go under FPV trends. And right here's that file. Now this is the file that DJI said was corrupted. So let's go here. And as you can see, this file is definitely not corrupted. There's nothing wrong with this file. So I'm not sure what happened during the upgrade to make the files not readable, uh, at least on my computer. But if you're having this same circumstance where you can't get your files off the Avada any longer, then uh, go ahead and 
look in the description below and you will be able to find the link to this particular software or you can search up any other type of software that will open up uh, corrupted files. So anyway, I hope that helps. So uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to comment on something. Maybe you're not having this experience and you can comment down below. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And listen, until next time, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see each and every one of you on the flip side.